Okay guys, uh, this is like two days after planting everything and uh, this is my orange mint and it is busting out happy. I swear this thing is practically doubled in size. Look how good that looks. Very, very happy about that. Rosemary feels good. It feels real good. It doesn't look wilty. It looks very, very happy. This is the pineapple mint and it hasn't doubled in size but it doesn't look wilty and it looks good so i'm happy about that let me see taking a quick tour um this is the bush tomato it looks very good the leaves feel strong this is the cherry tomato same thing good strong foliage Coming over here to my cucumbers and my cucumbers. Oh, I swear, I wonder, you know what? Look at this. This I think something's eating them. Because this is like nothing but a stalk sticking up out of the ground. Sorry, but that doesn't mean <laughs> necessarily mean that it's just dying. Duck on it. Okay. Well, that's a sad set of affairs right there. So, oh, the edges look a little nibbled on, but they certainly don't look very, very happy. However, I do have this new baby that's doing beautifully. So, if we can get some more new babies coming in, I'm, I'm not even going to worry about those. Because I think that they're pretty much a loss. Then we have our bell peppers this is the uh pack that i got the um gourmet pack now this one here has been nibbled on so i gotta figure out what's nibbling on it because i can't see anything on it there's no no worms there's nothing crawling around in here um, but look at this this looks like something and i need to know what that is i have to find out um Something has been crawling on it for sure. I just gotta find out, find it. Huh. Okay, so something came and is sampling my plants. And the cool thing is, is this one over here, when I was pulling it out of the pack, I kind of tugged on it and it like tore a few of the roots. So I didn't really expect it to live. And it still looks pretty doggone good, so I'm hopeful. This is the Halafuego. It looks great. It's looking happy. This is my zucchini. Um, I've lost uh, some leaves on it. One, two, three. I didn't, I mean, it's in a peat pot, so I didn't like accidentally do something to it. This part looks good. It's standing up and seems to be happy, but these uh, outer leaves, uh, not so much. So we'll see. Maybe it's going to be a bad zucchini here. I don't know. These are my yellow squash. This one over here looks good. This one right here is starting to look a little bit pale. So <sighs> darn it. And then these are my green beans. My green beans that. <laughs> Are just straight up sucking this whole season but you know what this is what I've concluded I've concluded that if I get a harvest you know that's a blessing it's always a blessing any kind of harvest you get um, but I just need to keep reminding myself to be grateful that I have this garden and that we have come as far as, as we have getting it fixed up and ready. In the beginning, we had blank, sterile dirt. And we have come so far. We started early spring and we got this fence in, this fence in. We got so far. So, super grateful.
today on the agenda is getting the sealant onto the fence so that it doesn't change color and it retards um, decay. So, so he's done half of this side. It's really making the wood pop. And then he did up here. And then we're doing down here. So, yeah, it looks good. And then for a quick update on my plants, I don't see anything new in this box. So I'm looking just for new stuff now that I put the straw on and it's keeping the soil moist. Um, a couple of my green beans look a little bit better, so we'll see. This one, the even though those two leaves died on the zucchini, it looks a lot better and a lot perkier now. So everything looks good over here, which I'm pretty stoked about. And then over here, my two tomatoes look fantastic. And then the baby is still doing great. I'm hoping for some more babies soon. I know where I planted them, so I'm kind of hoping for life. <laughs> life! I see life! Okay, and then over here, these guys are looking good. All right. Not so discouraged anymore. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is, but... Anyway, <clears throat> that's it for now. These one here have got new leaves on them. I got another baby! There's two! One here, and one here. I'm so excited! It, it's working! They're growing! Alright. All is right with my world. I have green in my life. <laughs> I was watering my plants and I found hidden in the straw a baby yellow squash. <laughs> I'm excited! Hi guys, things are looking really, really good out here in my garden. Now I don't have a whole lot going on over here on this end where I have the corn and stuff, but as we move over, I have a baby here. So this is either a yellow squash, no, it's not. I think this one is pumpkin. Uh, I have yellow squash that sprouted up right here. I have two new green beans. These green beans are going to be probably yanked. So I have two new green beans that came up. Over here are the ones I planted, the bell peppers. Um, this zucchini is not doing so great. Not doing so great at all. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, but everything else is looking good. I don't have anything right here. My tomatoes, wow, that tomato has already grown a lot. Wow, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Look how tall it's gotten. Pretty stoked. And then this is the bush tomato. And then over here, I have cucumbers popping up all over the place. So I'm going to yank these crummy little guys out and go ahead and flourish with these because I have a third one popping up right there. Pretty cool. This is the bed that I have, I have to finish. And then here's my mint. This mint is just going crazy now. But I knew mint would. Mint, mint's crazy. It's like a in, prolific grower. So, um, but I am going to be watering it twice a day right now. It is moist right now a little bit. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Um, and the reason for that is I've been watching a channel called Am I Gardener? And he is really good about up with gardening. So now, of course, a lot of the stuff that he is, um, he is from Michigan. So maybe it is different, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but he does, he has a lot of great tips, even if it has nothing to do with, you know, 
area or zone. So I'm between zone 8 and zone 10. So, uh, and we have right lately, we are creeping up um, into the hundreds for temperature. Uh, we did water this morning, but um, the soil feels okay right now. And I think I might just hold off waiting until we get into the triple digits. I were, uh, I think it was 97 today. Okie doke. So I'm pretty stoked. It's look, looking good and I'm happy. And look what else I found, guys. Do you know what these are? These are my snow peas. My snow peas are popping up. I knew that I had a few snow peas. I'm going to not even put a trellis up for them. I'm going to let them trellis that tomato. Yeah. I have another, I don't know how I ended up over here, but I have another uh, cucumber right there. So, yeah, I'm going to yank these out. These don't look good at all. I'm just going to say goodbye. Goodbye. And these are going to go away. No point in trying to bring these back. Yeah, and when I just tried to pull that one out, that the head came off just like, oh, look, another one, too, right there. Sweet. Okay. We're in. Anyway, I'm going to water. It's going to be really, really hot today. It's already 95, and it's, um, like, I'm going to go ahead and pull these out, too, and, let, and not let them rob from the soil any further. Yeah, just let let the other stuff begin. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, doing this one hand is a little bit weird, but... I'm just going to um, let it go. Come on. They're not going to make it. They're too far gone. It's like they're depleted so much that I don't know what's going on. But this new soil, the, the amendment, is working beautifully. It's just very, very, everything's happy. Popping up all over the place. As a matter of fact, I now see a new one, too, over here. We have these green beans right here, and then right here is yellow squash. So this one here is the yellow squash, but something nibbled on it, so dug on it. i got to figure out what that is. This one over here is pumpkin. And then something, I think this is grass, to tell you the truth. But I need to get a good water going on, because I have corn over here. <gasps> I do, I have green right here, which means this is, it's either pumpkin or um, watermelon right there. All right. Yeah, looking good. Okay, so I'm I'm okay with, you know, all that. So, and this is not looking too great. It is just a regular zucchini. Maybe I'll just throw some zucchini seeds in here. It seems like the seeds are doing fine. Um, and then of course it looks like I have a. Um. I forgot what they're called. You know, caterpillar or something. <sighs> Excuse me. Um. Something is nibbling, so I'm going to have to get on over here and figure out what that is. So, 